Welcome to Driven Plus guys, I'm Max Aftervani and today we're videoing the Range Rover Sport SV. Really excited to see what it's about, all the technology on it sounds insane, really does. Now we've been invited uh, by Troy, you'll meet him in a sec, um, and we're going to a session or an event called Range Rover House Unlocked and it's uh, in a big manor estate house in Cheshire, of course it is. Um, so let's go meet Troy, I'm going to drive down about 20 minutes so uh, let's go thank you so meet troy great member of of driven plus you've been on a few trips and you let us review for your car so thank you for the invitation today but obviously the invitation today is only going out to selected clients so how have you become a selected client to go and be at the launch of of the range rover sport sv so the car i'm driving now um max i uh I um, put a deposit down for this before the new Range Rover was even um, put out onto market, so well over two years ago. Yeah. Um, so at the time I had an autobiography standard um, Range Rover um, and my car was due to come to me over a year ago. So I put it in, uh, I put my car up for sale, sold my car um, and then as with everything Range Rover, the uh, my actual allocation was put back um, further. So at the time, I didn't have a car um, to use every day. So um, I bought an SVR, a blue one, which I know you guys have reviewed. On the channel. On the channel. Um, and then that SVR, I was with it um, from around about the March time of last year through to January of this year. At which point I changed it for a, a red um, sport again reviewed oh, on the channel, channel. <laughs> um, and then in March my car finally arrived the one I'm in now um, it's all about the interior guess what <laughs> it's, it's on, on the, the channel, channel. <laughs> um, so then in March I uh, um, I had uh, I had the car for probably a week or two and then an email came through saying well first of all I got a call from the dealership saying hey I've been selected as a VIP customer no surprise three Range Rovers in a year um, would I be interested in being brought forward for the um, for, for, for a new car supposedly the replacement for the SVR because that's all they could say at the time I obviously jumped at the chance um, I enjoyed the SVR um, and uh, then I suddenly got an email through, um, I signed an NDA, paid a £5,000 deposit um, and then they trickled information to me um, so I knew I was getting the car while all the hype was going on online um, and on the 31st of, of May obviously I could speak to people and the first thing I did was speak to Max and say hey guys do you want to come and be my plus one at the yeah. Unlocked event and uh, here we are today so that's how you become a VIP customer with Range Rover, you just gotta buy a lot of Range Rovers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting, really, really interesting. So, really excited to see what it's gonna look like. Oh, the, the, the Sport was a step above. From the SVR into the Red Sport, it was like going into uh, the top, top, top of the range, Range Rovers. But one thing for me is, what, one thing they haven't, they haven't renamed it the SVR, have they? They, they named it the Range Rover Sport SV. Yeah, so it's been explained to me that SV in obviously this level Range Rover, and I haven't got an SV, I've got an autobiography, this one was, you know, you guys have, have done. Um, the SV in this level Range Rover is the level of refinement. Luxury so, at all. Yeah, so yeah. you can have a choice of engines. Yes. The old SV autobiography, you had the big, I think it was 500 brake horsepower yeah, the plus. P565. Yeah, it yeah. was, it was yeah. the big engine. Um, and it was the top of luxury. With the SV, you can still have engine choices. Total performance, isn't it? But, yeah, um, well, in, in, in this Range Rover, it's refinement and luxury. In the Sport, the SV yeah. is speed. So, you, you know, from what I've heard, 626 or 635, whether it's HP or BHP, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's exciting. It's it's really exciting. It really is. Um, It'll be really interesting today to see, and obviously we're going to share with you what we're going to see. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be a really exciting day. But yeah, SV. I think they dropped the R, and it's just the SV division now is special is, vehicles operation. Yeah, and it's pushing 
the sport to be the sportiest it can be. The autobiography or the or the Vogue or whatever people want to call this Range Rover, which is now just Range Rover, it's the highest of what it can be, which is opulence and refinement and all those things. So I'm going to be stuck in a hard place because I enjoy this Range Rover. I love it to bits. It's it's absolutely fantastic. The four wheel steer is just insane and uh, today it'll be interesting to find out because uh, you know I want the four wheel steer on the new car because it's no smaller than this it's got the same footprint um, but uh, and then with the added luxury of all the you know the enhancements in speed and everything and being a and a very exclusive car for one year it'd be fantastic 100% and hopefully you get one so we can uh, actually get one to review on the channel and uh Take off, well, I'm tied uh, in now, paid my deposit. Oh, there you go. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have it. Um, yes, we're not, we'll keep you for long. Um, hopefully, we'll, well, we're about 20 minutes away, so not, not far now. And uh, we'll show you what the, uh, the sport looks like. See you soon. Thanks. Good point. This is great Bentley there, sir. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, get you taken over to the house for your view. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect to see Citroen Picassos, to be honest, Troy. No. Before... But there is a Bentley. Yeah. And a... Oh, there we are. It's a bit better. Nice setters, isn't it, Troy? It's amazing, mate. Lovely. Something new. Lovely setting. Lovely managers. Let's go on through. Yeah. Here it is, the Range Rover Sport SV, the fastest Range Rover ever made. 636 brake horsepower, 0 to 16, 3.6 seconds, and a top speed of 180 miles per hour. It's serious. That's thanks to this 4.4 litre V8. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? That's because it is. Same engine you'll find in the BMW M5. But let's be honest, it's not going to sound as good as the 5 litre V8 supercharged, but Let's, uh, let's appreciate that they haven't given it the hybrid treatment yet. Let's try and find a BMW badge. Ding, 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 ding. Carbon fiber bonnet. Carbon fiber edging cover. And for the first time ever fitted on a production car, world's first 23 inch carbon fiber wheels. And with these massive Brembo 8 pot calipers gripping carbon ceramic di uh, discs. Oh, that's insane. I wouldn't want to curb them. So take out wheel insurance if they even offer it. And here's the rear uh, wheels, carbon fiber again. Um, the four pots um, calipers. Um, Combined weight saving of the wheels and the carbon ceramic brakes, if you take both, 76 kilograms, bringing the total weight to 2,560 kilograms. So, not bad, but still a heavy car. And here's one funny thing. So, it's an optional extra to tick locking wheel nuts on the new Ranger Sport SV. I mean, if you're gonna get these carbon fiber wheels, please tick the locking wheel nut option, because if these get stolen, well, I just find it obscene how they don't include them as standard. <laughs> Quad tailpipes. Carbon lapped there. Range Rover bad is in carbon fiber. And you just get the SV badge there. It's quite clean from the rear. It's not loud and shouty. I quite like it. Lovely stance about the thing. The thing's got soft clothes. <laughs> So that's nice. The gear shift and the steering. And it's like four, four seat to the four. So this colour is the carbon bronze. It's like a matte finish. Um, the one Troy's getting is the flux silver, which is a metallic paint. You can also get obsidian black. But here's one thing I didn't realise until today. You cannot get carbon fibre exposed bonnet with the satin colours or matte colours you can only get it with the metallic so I think Troy's well, he's felt lucky there getting the, uh, the flux grey because uh, yeah, he's going to spec the exposed carbon bonnet that's that's for me that's a definite option that I'd tick so price of this thing starting £168,000 for the edition one I think um, the unlimited one is going to be about 145 but this specced out Troy specification £190,000 
walk around from this angle. Now, for the first time ever, remember that 720S I reviewed? It's got pretty much identical suspension setup. So what I mean by that is it's got no anti-rail bars. Use a, uses a hydraulic fluid system, which is called 6D Dynamics. So it's a more exposed, bumper is more sharper. Yes, it'll decrease your angle for going off road, but it's not a car for that, let's be honest. It looks mean from the front. I do like that. So this is the Obsidian black colour with the non-carbon fibre wheels. 305 width tyre, the largest tyre width fitting fitted to a Range Rover. So you, you can feel it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, you have changed the interior. It wasn't like that on my old No, SV. this is will be. This oh, is yeah. the same as every Range Rover Sport at 24 model years. So that's because that's that not under the screen. That's there. correct. So the climate controls are now on the screen. Ah, uh, yeah, that's all gone there, isn't it? So with um, just turn this up. So with um, body and soul seats, you have the music and the sensory audio, which you may feel coming through. <laughs> I can feel that, yeah. yeah. Wow. So that gives so the thing. thing. Yeah. Does that play any of the exhaust through it? The Range Rover embossed there on the seat. Through the seat? You're missing a trick there, aren't they? I'll feed thought, that one back. Actually feel the sound <laughs> on SV. You would have thought if they pressed the SV button, they would have used that to add because you know, like BMW pumps sound into the car. Yeah. Uh, uh, sound, I think yes, but not not through the seat. But, but that they would uh, yeah, they'd put the exhaust through. The, you know, if you oh, when you the, change here, yeah, like the yeah. base of the the gear changes so, so through the seat. So you feel the, the exhaust. Feel more engaged that way. Yeah. You'd feel. But that doesn't engaged. that doesn't work. That doesn't happen. Oh, right, okay. Hey, we just gave them a design. Oh, have you got it recorded? <laughs> That's a pink. I'm going to be very, <laughs> be very yeah. careful what I say. Yeah. Um, so there we have it. What do you think of the new Sport SV? Um, apologies if you can't drive it, but that is the only car. They're not even allowed to start it. So I was trying, well, I asked them to, to start it, see if we can get a, um, a sound clip of the exhaust, but it's a strict no. But at least we can actually show you the physical, physical car. Um, what are your thoughts? Are you. Uh, are you happy with it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a it's a one-off vehicle, and even the first edition is going to be a one-off vehicle. Yeah. That uh, I would imagine by the time they come to launch, um, there'll be a lot of options that will be out of a lot of people's spec lists just because it's added into the car. You know, talk of fourteen thousand pounds for interior carbon bits that you don't get a choice to uncheck on the first edition. Yeah. Um, I doubt there'll be many people. Um, on the full launch who might be ticking options like that so it'll be exciting to have a car with so much carbon on I hope yeah. they get me the uh, carbon wheels um, mm. but uh, yeah lovely and I can't wait till delivery from November through till May I think he said yeah to us. the earliest they said is October with a potential latest time of well he said March originally and then he and then he slipped the May in there <laughs> didn't he so <laughs> story of my life <laughs> So we'll see when we when when Troy get it. We obviously get a proper review on it. But there's a little uh, glimpse of what the Range Rover House Unlocked is is like, and obviously a little glimpse of the Range Rover Sport SV. Many thanks for watching, um, Troy. Thank you for the for the invite. Hey mate, always always there for Driven Plus. <laughs> Subscribe, click the button, do whatever all those people do. Took the words out of my mouth. Cheers, guys. See you later. <laughs>